वेलकम टू द सीक्रेट मंकी फॉर सेंचुरी इन बाली इंडोनेशिया इट इज ऑल्सो वेल नोन एज उबेर मंकी फॉरेस्ट इट इज अ सेंचुरी एंड नेचुरल हैबिटेट ऑफ द बैलनीज लॉन्ग टेल मंकी एंड इट इज लोकेटेड इन उबेर बाली द पर्पज ऑफ दिस फॉरेस्ट इज टू कीप द प्लेस सीक्रेट एंड प्रमोट द मंकी फॉरेस्ट उबर एज एन इंटरनेशनल टूरिस्ट डेस्टिनेशन At the entrance there is a ticketing counter from where tickets can be brought for the whole day. There is an information center where you can get information about the forest and the monkeys. This area is very clean and the people and the staff are very very cooperative and friendly. Pamphlets about this forest are available in many languages including English, Hindi, german spanish etc there are many beautiful statues and as you cross a small wooden bridge you come to the forest area the sacred monkey forest describes its mission as conservation of the area within its boundaries according to the hindu principle of three hat karan the three ways to reach spirituality and physical well-being which seeks to make people live harmoniously during their lives the three ways to this goal under the three hat karan is a harmonious relationship between humans and humans between humans and the natural environment and between humans and the supreme god accordingly the monkey forest has a philosophical goal of creating peace and harmony for visitors from all over the world these boss covered statues they are so beautifully carved this tunnel which has dim lights it leads to the other side and on the walls there are beautiful carvings There are sign posts which tell about the guidelines regarding the forest. There are about 1000 monkeys living in this sanctuary and they are mainly divided into six groups. The main temple group, forest conservation group, central point group, eastern group, Michelin group and the cemeteries group. The monkey forest area has about 186 species of plants and trees in its area and there are three ancient temples in this region. This tree is considered to be over 100 years old. This is the quiet cemetery area that holds some of the Balinese locals from the nearby village. This is the Pura Prajapati temple which is located in the northeastern part of the park and it is used to worship the personification of Prajapati. the three hindu temples which were constructed around 1350 this is the main temple which is the pura dalam agung dang tegel this temple lies in the southwestern part of the park and it is used to worship god hyang vidhi who is personification of shiva the recycler or transformer the outer boundary wall it contains beautiful carvings of humans and monkeys These temples play an important role in the spiritual life of the local community and the monkey and its mythology are important to the Balinese community. The monkey forest area is sanctified by the local community 
and some parts of it are not open to view by the public. The sacred areas of the temples are close to everyone except those who come to pray wearing the proper Balinese praying attire. At many places you can see fascinating carvings and intricate sculptures of monkeys, dragons surrounded by lush green forests and playful monkeys. The scenery is unearthly with giant roots bending around the bridges, huge stone carvings of Kobado dragons sticking out from the sides of river banks and beautiful temples, all home to a huge gang of Balinese long-tail monkeys. This leads to the Holy Spring Temple. This is the Pura Beji or the Beji Temple in the northwestern part of the park and it is used for the worship of Yang Vidhi, the personification of the goddess Ganga. A holy spring bathing temple, it is a place of spiritual and physical cleansing prior to the religious ceremonies. Relics and statues are under dense foliage with little sunlight, resulting in a mysterious and ancient vibe. This trail allows the visitors to access the ravine which has a stream at the bottom. Research and studies are carried out for observing the monkey's health, diet and breeding habits. And here we can see these playful primates in their natural habitat swinging through canopies and feeding, not to forget interaction with humans, fighting, sleeping, playing and bathing together. This area is open for visitors from 8.30 am to 5.30 pm and the best time is to come early in the morning so as to avoid the crowd and also the monkeys are less in numbers. This area is heavily forested and has lots of hills, a deep ravine running through the park ground. At the bottom there is a rocky stream and there are many plants and animals including deer and of course the monkeys. So we hope you enjoyed this virtual tour of the monkey forest Obed in Bali, Indonesia. Hope to meet you in the next video. Till then keep safe. Goodbye. Namaste.